Okay, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, how to weld up two pieces of square tubing. So, if you're making anything out of square tubing, uh, whether it's a welding table, whatever, whatever you're making out of square tubing, um, there's a few things you need to know. First off, um, when you are welding uh, square tubing like this, this this piece of square tubing. So, when you start the weld right here and you tag all four corners of the weld, uh, all four corners of the square tubing to get it to tack it in place. You're going to start your weld, but what you're going to do is you're going to aim the, the weld puddle on this piece because there's more room for the heat to dissipate. So that uh, if, you, if, you aim the, if you aim the electrode at this piece, it's an edge. And, and just like we talked about, an edge will melt away really quickly. So uh, you're going to end up burning a hole straight through the edge if you, if you aim it at that. So, do just like we do with a uh, lap joint. Aim at the aim at the piece that has the most heat, uh, the heat absorption or heat uh, heat dissipation. Aim it at that piece and just just uh, let the let the weld puddle flow into the to the square tubing over here. So I'll show you what I'm talking about because me telling you is probably not doing very good. So uh, let's go ahead and tack these pieces up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So now we've got the corners tacked up, and we're going to start at one uh, one tack, and we're going to we're going to consume that tack, and we're going to go to the next tack. But remember, uh, right here we're doing a uh, this is a butt joint, so so it's actually called a flare bevel joint. But uh, basically, what we're doing is a butt joint. So, uh, but you're making sure that you you just flow the the puddle into this side. When we turn it this way, set it up. We're doing a T joint. So. Make sure you know the difference. Okay, so that is the finished joint, and you can see we've got a continuous bead all the way around the joint. Uh, this area, this side over here, I started to burn through the side a little bit. So what I did was I uh, I overcorrected and I aimed the the weld puddle over here a little bit to, to keep it from burning through because it, it was starting to work a hole into the edge right there. So like I said, that's why that's why I was saying you have to be careful about getting too much heat into the edge because it will burn a big hole in there and if, you, if you're working on a project and you, and you do that it's going to be a pain in the butt to try to fix so uh, just make sure you don't burn that edge away and do just what I showed you and you should be okay so that's going to be it for this video